हेलो एवरी वन यू आर वॉचिंग ऑनलाइन साइंस क्लास दिस चैनल इज स्पेशली फॉर दोज हु वॉन्ट टू लर्न साइंस सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स ज्वाइन विद अस प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर नोटिफिकेशन सो वी आर गोइंग स्टार्ट योर टॉपिक प्लीज वॉच फुल वीडियो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर वन ऑफ क्लास एट that is the crop production and management the science that deals with grow growth of plant and animals for human use is called agriculture agriculture includes soil management that is the cultivation of the soil crop farming that is the growing and harvesting of crops horticulture that is the growing and harvesting of fruits vegetables flower and decorative plants agriculture practices the land where plants are cultivated is known as fields plant grown in large quantities in a field are known as crop plants or crops based upon the season crops are divided into two types summer crops called kharif crops and winter crops called rabi crops kharif crops are grown during the summer between june and july and harvested by september or october rice groundnut maize cotton pulses are some common kharif crops rabi crops are grown in the winter between october or november and harvested by march or april wheat barley mustard potato and peas are some common rabi crops we can see with the help of this figure crops are basically divided into three types that is the jayat crops kharif crops and rabi crops jayat crops sown between rabi and kharif crops in the summer season from march to june example of the jayat crops are fruits and vegetables kharif crops sown in rainy season in between june to september example paddy maize soybean groundnut and cotton rabi crops sown in winter season october to march example wheat gram pea mustard and linseed basic practices of crop production seven agriculture practices followed while growing crops are preparation of the soil that is the first step where we are going to prepare the soil for the crop production selection and sowing of seeds where we where we will select a good quality of seeds and sows inside the field with proper scientific ways adding of manure and fertilizer where we will provide proper nutrient for better growth of the plants irrigation that is the supply of water after regular interval of time production of weeds production from weeds and pests weeds are unwanted plants that as grows different type of crops we will protect them we will protect the crops from the weeds and pests because they will harm for the better production of the crops harvesting after the growth of the crops the crops are harvested storage this is the final steps where harvested crops are stored for the future for better utilization preparation of the soil this is the first step plowing or tilling involve loosening and turning of the soil using a tool on a or an implement called plow all of you have seen the plow which are used by the farmers then the soil is leveled loosening of the soil what is the main benefit of the loosening of the soil these are asked inside the question these questions are asked mainly in examination allow the root to breathe easily help the root to penetrate deep inside the soil these are the benefit of the loosening of the soil 
enable fertilizer to make to mix uniformly with the soil aids the growth of the organism such as earthworms millipedes bacteria and fungi these are the main benefits of the loosening of soil why is the leveling of the field important land leveling is a typically done in medley sloping lands where farmer use surface irrigation methods such as furrows borders basins or flood we have seen that before seeding or sowing the seeds inside the soil most of the farmer level their field in proper way it ensure uniform distribution of irrigation water in the root zone of the crop it also help in seeding and managing the crop better which means that yield and quality of the crop is better this is the very important part that is known as the leveling of the field agriculture implementation used for leveling traditionally farmer used ox dragon scraper to level the land but today laser land leveler leveler is being used to make sure that the surface of the field is even and flat the la- the laser guided leveler save time increase productivity and save water as it minimize water logging or run off problem sowing of seeds and adding of manure and fertilizer seeds used for grow sowing should be good quality healthy viable and free of infection seed are sown manually by broadcasting or by seed drill broadcasting is the scattering of seeds over the surface by hand plant require nutrient for the growth they get these nutrient from the soil this can be done either by natural method or by adding manure and fertilizer to the soil sowing which kind of seed should farmer use this is very important part that is known as the selection of the seed farmer should use good quality of seeds that are clean healthy and give high yield selection of the right variety of seed depend on the soil climate irrigation method and other regional factors the ministry of agriculture in india set up national level organization called the national seed corporation nscc that test the quality of the seeds state seed corporation and agriculture university have also set up seed testing laboratories throughout india these lab tested seed for their purity resistance to disease and pests germination and vigor suitability to regional climate condition and general seed health how to separate damaged seed from the healthy seed because whenever we are going to purchase the seed from the market some of the seeds are damaged they are not able to give proper growth of the plant so what is the method to separate the seed put the seeds in the water damaged seeds are hollow and lighter and thus float on the water good and healthy seeds sink in water and settle down what precautions should be taken while sowing while sowing the seed it is essential to make sure that seed are healthy and high quality they are planted at correct distance from each other so that they can get proper light water and nutrients nutrients from the soil they must be sown deep enough to protect them from animals and bird which might eat them and wind which might blow them away but not so deep that they may not get enough air to germinate so these are the very important precaution should be taken by sowing the seeds thanks for watching we will present next video for the another topic of this chapter